Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. Thank you for joining me in another episode of Robocop Rogue City. So we will continue where we left off in the last episode, search for suit. And uh, yeah, we need to go into the ghost house. So let's just continue guys. And here we are in the ghost house. So let's see now. Oh shit! It's a metal freak! Come you here, buddy. So ah, I'm change for the AK Oh my god, how much I missed Grenades, yeah, lots of grenades here You usually die from grenades you die at all, but this is extremely hard difficulty. Come on, buddies. Let's take the big machine gun. Yeah. HP. Let's use it. Hi, man. And the bridge. Slow motion. Yeah. Machine gun is good. The bad thing is that you can't reload it. So when you use 100 bullets, you can just swap it for something else. And let's drop down. Robo is not taking damage, right? We knew that. Here I can heal, but not yet. Let's see. Okay, no more bullets. Where are you? I will heal now. And... Yeah, there's another machine gun. I will just run here. Kill this guy. Okay, you're reloading. Goodbye. And another bridge. Hey, man. Oh my god, how many bullets this guy needs to die. Yeah, take this. is not so good anymore and you know when it's this this is the last guy when the slow motion automatically activate like now and another machine gun okay let's pick all this and let's get in here and a cutscene are you the police informant? 
Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh, man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. Then my service is free. No, of course not. You're right. You did save my skin. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Okay, man, let's go. Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. And what we have By here? Way, I've got something for you, Murphy. OCP container. Pickles. Eh, and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind So that's that. weapon upgrades, but one time, I saw Torchhead stealing I can't use that yet. I went after him, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back. Let's just get out of here. But it turned out to be groceries. So they left it. I made a pretty penny that day. Yeah, give me AK again. So you are an opportunist. Actually, no, I want to hit a machine gun. 100 bullets. Nothing here. And let's get out, finally. From the ghost house. to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that, I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but... I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but... Still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. Yeah, let's do this side quest now, actually. Let's go now, yeah. We will proceed with haste. Ah, oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, so finish this one first. Over here. This is where Briggs lives. And then continue. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. With the main story, so just quick check. Objectives, yeah, time to repent. Track that. And then we have just the two more violations, okay. Let's go in. Apartment 21. Thanks, man. But man, let's go here first. Sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just... And a gang stash. 
which has the crime evidence. She's good at reading people, though. And I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Nothing here. Like steal a watch. Like steal a watch. Let's go up now. Apartment 21 is here. Sit. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. Robocop. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, it's funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you can tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry. Because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid and I think he suspects something. Could... You maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. What are we now, a nanny? Let's just check this. Yeah, his family... Let's just go. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is, is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? Here's the basketball to court. Remind Gail's son that Something to scan. Curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. And two guys. Good evening, citizens. I need. Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. You are not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. Yeah, man. And that's letting you off easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. Shit, I, I, I was just messing with you. Oh. What do you need? Oh, you're, you're looking nice. looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. Very nice. I see a couple of drawings over there. Let's just check this. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Oh, what's this? Something to pick up. Oh. You wanna read this? Just pause the video, guys. That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. 
I guess we're conducting an investigation. Yes, we are. <laughs> Looking for a kid, let's go. So area of investigation is here. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere around. And shoe print, size seven. That's gotta be his. Right. So now I can scan everything. Let's see where he went. What about over there? Locked, no, shut. Lock. They did not go inside. Containers. Nothing. Let's check the door. So I guess you have like a Nothing scanning again. thing in your There's eyes. There's a ladder, but... Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like new. Okay, move the van. Here. I must have done something. And let's see. What the fuck? A gunshot. That was close. We'd better hurry. And a cutscene. Do it! Come on! And him! What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no, it's the cops! I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not mine. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone's got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. Nice talk. Finally over. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Yeah. Your father's watch. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. Yeah, man. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. See you later, lads. Thank God. And we finish another one. Hey, 
partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? So just to see now. Yeah, I want to finish these too. So track that. I actually I know where they are, so. Yeah, main quest is here. I need to just go and then I think, yeah, I know where these two are, so I will just go there now. And uh, sure I will thing. speed this Pick up a bit. When you're done. And there's the car to go from the downtown. So we finished the downtown map, there's the car, but yeah, I just want to finish those two. Let's go there. First one is just here. Let's check. Yeah, to the right. Where was the ghost house, but I just missed this. So it's right here. This guy is drinking. Oh, really, man? Let's You're just check him out. Friend. And uh, I love you. so there's this on the map here. You really mean that? <laughs> oh, man, you drinking in public. Man. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. Yeah, man. I will let you go this time, but remember that drinking in an unsuitable environment can lead to severe consequences. Well, that's the whole point. Yeah, we serve the public trust. The guy is sleeping and... Uh... Now it's just one more left, so it's, yeah, now it's five out of six. That was here. And now the last one is all the way to the other side. Let's speed this up a bit again. So I'm just gonna finish these two and then continue with the main story. Quick check. Yeah. And again. Okay, I know now where it is. So it's right here. On the docks. This guy. Throwing garbage is here on the map. So an outer is garbage disposal. Littering is prohibited. What was I supposed to do? I've missed the garbage collection and we had fish on Friday. You have no idea how much it reeks. Okay, I will let I him will go. I will not issue a ticket on this occasion. But remember that littering is like dumping negative emotions on others. It spoils the relationship. Hell Still yeah, better man. than a spoiled fish. We serve the public trust. So now all six are finished. Yeah. No more of that. So now only the main quest is left. All of them is finished. And uh, this was here. The last one on the map. And let's just go through here, because I see the police car, and yeah, another objective, who killed Casey Carmel. So it's there on the map. Let's just finish then this first, then continue. He's my favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you. Kurtz finally had a reason to watch something other than the fast food channel. Television likes to exaggerate. I am also happy to assist with cases that are not cut out for media break. Can you tell me what happened here? 
Nasty murder. The victim is a white female, mid-twenties, identified as Casey Carmel. Had a history of petty crime and prostitution, but uh, believe it or not, that's her real name. Any leads? The case is closed. OCP won't spend a single dime on the murder of a prostitute. Cost optimization. Fancy name for we don't give a shit about poor people. So if you were to look around the crime scene, you would potentially be exposing OCP to extra costs. If you want to do that, be our guest. The best way to cut the costs of policing is to cut the criminals down. Tell me about it. I didn't join the force to pick up dead bodies off the street. Yeah, but what can we do? So let's now... I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice. Let's check the area. Solve this murder. A lot of clues here. Double cup vision, okay, I know that already. Let's just scan everything. Custom extended wheelbase. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, Robo. Yeah, probably belonged to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. And there's a victim. Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object. Possibly a ham. That's this green-blue shit under her arm. No idea what it might be. But there is more of it around. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. Okay. And the witness. Oh, Casey. Oh, I can help you find the guy who dumped the body here. I saw him, but you must accept the truth. Tell me what you know. Uh, it's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Oh my god. Aliens. I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. They don't want me to show you this list. Oh my god. It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. All 37,617 of them. The murderer included. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. Does your list contain any information on such a vehicle? Jackpot! I've got a guy with a van that matches your description. I don't know his ID, but I know where you can find him. Very good. A film set near the courthouse. They're shooting a TV commercial that's run by aliens, so it all makes sense. Casey must have discovered something there, and they got her. That must have been what's happened. Oh my god, man. Why do you think that aliens run the set? Who do you think runs the advertising business? They're stuffing commercials with subliminal messages. They, they, they use additional film frames with commands to make us obey. Mm -hmm. Don't you know what happens to those who watch TV? Yeah, man. I will okay. verify your statement. Nevertheless, I recommend you consult a psychiatrist at the earliest possible time. Yeah. Now, the set. Okay, so we can go there now. We finish this area. And, yeah, that's all the way to the other side. So here, okay, there's the main quests. I'm just gonna speed this up a bit now again. And yeah, we are here. Let's see now, the film crew. What is happening here? Uh, they're shooting a TV commercial for Sunblock 5000. Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. Yeah, they ran into some problems, and it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish, or you're doing it without me. Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with. Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement. So let's see now. I have reason to believe that someone from your crew is involved in a crime. 
We found a green-blue substance like your sunblock at the crime scene. The suspect was driving a van with a custom extended wheelbase. We use a lot of different vans, but I would know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry Jenkins. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for me. That does not sound like a task of a police officer. Ah, uh, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something. You just have to find out what it is. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. Your proposal may be considered punitive. I will hold anyone who breaks the law responsible. I believe that. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park on set there. But look for something on Jenkins, too. So let's see now. This guy and the trucks. There's the same truck. And the substance matches. And here. Okay. Now let's check the computer. And some messages. All right. Let's question then Jerry Jenkins. The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? I read your messages. They seem to connect you with the case. Would you like to explain? You've read my private messages? How did you get access to them? That bitch sent you after me, didn't she? She's looking for a way to screw me over and hide her incompetence. You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the understudy. His face looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring. See what she has to say about him, pal. Okay, man. Talk to her now. I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be the perpetrator I am looking for. You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Where is the understudy now? I have no idea. And that's the whole point. We can't keep shooting because he's disappeared. I hope the guys in the hospital are worse, because if he's not, I'll kill him myself. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. You understand jokes, don't you? Show me the footage. Let's check the footage now. Check the camera footage. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take... Take it and get lost. The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. You. You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's... No names. Okay. So we saw now that they talked. So this guy was lying. Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. She was likely the prostitute who was killed. People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. Withholding information about illegal activity is also a crime. Ha! 
If that's the case, I wouldn't be the only criminal in this goddamn business. You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of income. I am not done with you yet. Do not leave the city. Yeah, man. So let's go to the gas station now. It's uh, right there, okay. Near the car. So let's just go there now. So okay, it's right there. Nothing much else is here. I think I passed the whole city. Uh, could you please keep the noise down? You're scared. I mean, not the city, but the whole downtown. They finished what I could, what I found. I think this is the last one here. So let's see now the gas station. Okay. And you have to help me, man. This shit is burning my somebody skin. Somebody's here. Look at this guy. But let's check this first. The clothes. So there's the van. And sunblock is the least of your worries. Look, I know why you're here, but I'm innocent. I swear. You are being detained in connection with the murder of Casey Carmel. If you require medical attention, it will be given to you. I didn't do it! Jenkins killed her! Jerry Jenkins! The guy from TV! You have to believe me! You will make your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free! He's the one who killed Casey! They met here yesterday! Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit. But I was gone when this happened! When I came back, she was already dead. And I decided to get rid of the body. Jenkins is the only one who could have done it. Why would Jenkins kill that woman? I don't know. I wasn't there. Are you stalling? She may have mentioned something about wanting to blackmail Jenkins, but I knocked the idea out of her head. At least I think I did. I will verify your version of events but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Okay, so let's see now. Hurry up, please! It burns! Investigate the gas station to confirm what these guys just said. There's the room. Okay, some blood. A murder weapon. Probably. And a glasses. Yeah. A camera lens, okay. So somebody was recording this. And yeah, it's here. So what we have here? A letter. And the video. So now let's see. Yeah, they are arguing. And now. Boom, oh my god. With the hammer, yeah. So here's the killer. Now we know everything. This guy said the truth. Okay, man. He didn't so, lie. Did you find anything? According to the evidence, 
Jenkins is guilty of the murder of Casey Carmel. I told you. However, you are guilty of concealing a crime yeah. and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits. And he's going to the hospital. And then in jail, probably. <laughs> Very nice. So now we just need to arrest Jerry Jenkins. I'll just speed it up a bit. And yeah, he's there. I can't let you in, robot. Right. They're in the middle of a shot. This cannot wait. They say that 20 seconds in the California sunshine is too much these days. Ever since we lost the ozone layer. I have a solution for you if you are looking for some protection against that California okay, sunshine. Okay, buddy. The hell? A stay in Detroit prison. Jerry Jenkins, you are under arrest for yeah, the murder yeah. of Casey Carmel. I have seen you on TV. You're glitching again. Ah, it hurts. For Goodbye. fuck's sake, it hurts. And he's going to jail too. Right. So now we finished everything I think. Everything in the downtown. Yeah, all objectives done. It's only the main quest left. Everything else is finished. So let's go then to the car. Speed it up a bit. And uh, here we are guys, so now I think I will end the episode here, because the video is already getting too long, so yeah, just quick check, just that is left, and uh, we finish all the downtown. Oh, there's a gang stash, okay, so I will just quickly go to pick up that, fasten up a bit, so I just missed one stash here. Now you see where it is. Just crime evidence, probably. Yeah, as I thought, so. So that was here on the map. And now let's go back and finish this episode, guys. So yeah. Downtown is now finished and... Uh, yeah. So all this, actually, objective is only the main quest. Okay, so yeah, if you liked what you see, guys, please consider subscribing, liking and commenting. And uh, thank you for watching this video. And join me in another one where we're going to continue this RoboCop story. And uh, yeah.